Capricorn. What up, though, Goat Gang? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. I missed y'all. Actually, had the Earth Signs recorded the other day, and they ended up disappearing off of the memory card Mercury and Pisces things. Um, so, took it as a sign to take a couple days. Uh, my babies also had ended up getting a little cold as well, so daddy duties called um, with that being said though this will be a general reading for the sign of Capricorn wherever that resonates at in your chart keep in mind y'all energy's fluid time doesn't exist so you can take these readings how they resonate leave the rest for someone else um, and these readings are timeless so whenever you stumble across this reading there will be some messages here for you to help bring you clarity to help empower you to help you align um, and all of that good stuff tapping into my Capricorn energy. Wow. 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 Okay. What this feels like Capricorn is after all you've been through and things may have even been a little bit rough lately. It feels like you're about to be rewarded. Okay. It feels like you've got uh, some major accomplishments done. And this feels like in your physical life and in sort of your spiritual journey as well. Let me light this incense before I forget, get this smoke going, clear this space, clear your space. But yeah, it looks like we are being rewarded, Capricorn, for our perseverance, for your hard work, for your strength, okay? Balance coming in for you. I do pull a couple cards from this uh, fat, uh, I'm sorry, Illuminated Earth Oracle. And the reason I said balance is because the actual balance card came out okay and so this is sort of like the uh <clears throat> the libra card the justice card in the tarot and it does feel like a lot of you're you're sort of going through this renewal you're you're in this new energy or you're about to be in this new energy after separating from some things that were no longer serving you after uh maybe it was habits thought patterns relationships situations that have sort of rotted their way or decayed their way into your energy over lifetimes or over years right and i feel like my capric whatever happened i know it resonates differently for everybody whatever happened it happened and you are sort of moving out of that energy and you're moving into this new refreshing renewed energy spirit is saying good job my babies you did it right and i do feel like there are rewards coming in Capricorn for you for all that you've done okay so with that being said we are going to jump into this tarot you guys look on the bottom of the deck we have the queen of pentacles and this is your rewards coming in maybe some of you um as I was shuffling too I heard um maybe some of you are getting a raise or you're getting an offer uh, in work somehow or, or something like that is happening to where your pay is going up or you're receiving some type of lump sum or bonus or something like that. Um, for others of you, I, I see your energy opening up. And so I feel like you're sort of putting yourself in a position where you're going to be able to receive more abundance. You're going to be able to receive these opportunities. It's like your energy has been cleared. Capricorn, look, man, I cannot make it up. Spirit has me look. We've got the nine of cups on the bottom. So let's jump into this tarot. There's some type of wish fulfillment, some type of manifestation coming to fruition for my goat gang. And this is going to feel like a gift from the universe. So I'm going to grab these cards and we will dive into your reading. Wow. Mother, Father, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, messages for my Capricorns for their highest good. Anything my caps need to hear right now, any messages that will help bring them clarity, that will help empower them, um, any messages that will help them align to this beautiful renewal will be truly and greatly appreciated. All praise and glory to the Most High forever and ever. What do we have in the recent past for my caps? Please, Spirit. <laughs> Y'all, sheesh, dig that. Okay, can I get one more? Okay, what do we have incoming? Okay, and spirit is saying do not overthink. Do not let yourself get caught in this old energy or in any type of anxious energy. Okay, Capricorn. Wow. 
Okay, thank you, Spirit. For a lot of my caps, you got a new a new steamy situation coming your way. You got some new love or a new relationship, a new romantic offer coming your way. We'll dive into it in just one second. Thank you, Spirit. Wow, you guys. Okay. And for my Capricorns that aren't into love and that doesn't matter to you, there's something coming in for you that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. What do we have Okay, any advice? Okay, okay, beautiful. Wow, you guys, on the bottom of the deck, we've got the Fool card. So there's this underlying energy, Capricorn, for you to trust, for you to be still and know, for you to really trust that the universe has your back in this, that you are truly moving into this beautiful new chapter. And there's a there's a, a message coming through about following your intuition, not getting stuck in your mental space and and taking action right without overthinking. Opportunities are coming in. You're open. You're paying attention and you are taking them right. And this is bringing a lot of success, a lot of happiness into your energy in the recent past an offer came in some type of offer for a new beginning here okay this is feeling like it was like a clean slate an offer came in to to sort of bring you into this clean slate this renewal energy and i do see whatever my capricorns were going through there's some overthinking or some anxiety um in your energy okay but i see my capricorns working hard i see you decided to continue to focus to keep your eye on the prize your eyes on the prize here um my capricorns really leveling up here you could be taking classes you could be getting certifications i'm sorry about the focus y'all eight of pentacles um this is you really leveling yourself up in every sense of the word like i said maybe some of you are graduating a class or taking a class or a workshop or something like this this is my capricorns mastering their craft and really staying focused this is also a message from the universe right you guys eight of pentacles ace of pentacles this is the nine of pentacles this does represent all of your hard work paying off and it's sort of like you're creating a legacy here you're creating the life that you want you're creating the life that is going to bring this happiness in ten of cups so whatever this overthinking was for my capricorns i know it resonates differently for everybody but i'm hearing the devil is a lie all right so just please be still and know that okay your overall theme of this reading is you moving out of whatever turbulence this was this six of swords represents the worst of the storm being over it represents the fact that you are being guided by your spirit guides by your angels okay by the divine into this new chapter and this has been coming up a lot in the collective readings lately and it's like we can see the shore now right the waters have calmed a little bit the, the clouds are sort of clearing out of the way it almost feels like going from winter to spring here in michigan where it's like the you know you can start to hear the birds the weather's getting warmer it's that type of energy it's not summer yet but it's better than winter right um and so this is a perfect time to plant those seeds family those energetic seeds get that vision together in your mental space and start writing down your goals um what do i want to have accomplished in six months three months a year um etc getting that sort of vision together and so that way we have a focal point for our energy you guys and then speaking claiming and affirming that that is so okay you've got the star in your current energy so it's going to be so important to focus capricorns not on what broke your heart not on what didn't go right not on what hurts you guys this is a time to dive deep to clear that energy out to do that shadow work and to really let this divine healing take place as you do align again i feel like it's like the slate is being wiped clean here and so if you're trying to manifest a relationship capricorn focus on that what kind of relationship do i want what kind of race relationship do i deserve what will i allow what will i accept what have i learned from my past relationships um, that got me to where I'm at um, really paying attention to the red flags writing down 
um, what it is that this relationship or this new job or this new opportunity or this new house, write what down what it would look like, what it would feel like, right? What it would be like. <clears throat> Meditate on that. Bring that vision up in, in your imagination, in the astral. And then bring up the feelings of how it's going to feel when this, when this, not if this, when this comes to fruition. And start speaking, claiming, and affirming that it is so. I have my dream relationship. Um, I have my dream job. I, I am financially st stable. I am emotionally stable. Whatever it may be. Um, because... It's like, really, it is like a spiritual level up here. You are coming into divine union with yourself. And I feel like that's manifesting for some of my Capricorns in an offer um, from a divine counterpart, from some type of soulmate. Somebody who is going to uh, pour into you as much as you pour into them along your journey. And some of my Capricorns already have this in their energy okay so again the devil is a liar do not let the past hold you back do not let any of these funky energies cloud your vision right now i feel like it's really important okay especially with this being your theme right chariot six of swords two of cups you are absolutely whether this is love or not you are absolutely capricorn moving into energy that is pouring back into you um you're being <laughs> with the train out there for confirmation you're really being um rewarded for your hard work your hard work is paying off the divine is proud of you and is leading you into this beautiful new energy where the situations the relationships platonic and romantic are bringing to the table what you bring to the table capricorn and it's like the energy is being reciprocated here again so the worst of the storm is over we are pulling up to the shores in this new chapter and this is about a wish fulfillment family this is really about getting that vision together okay in your incoming energy i see you finally moving on from this old chapter we've got the eight of cups the death the rebirth okay so this is that this is you really embodying this major transformation i know it's been very intense but i feel like my capricorns are sort of pulling themselves out of this funk and realizing that they have the key to this door right here and so you are getting up you're pulling yourself out again the devil is a liar sorry guys this is the five of pentacles and if you see she's sort of in that funk but i see you grabbing that key i see you being bold i see you taking the risks i see you taking action and there is a overall message here you guys to bring some fun in to your reality some good light-hearted music some high vibes some light foods making sure you're staying hydrated and you are doing things that you're passionate about so you're not just sort of getting bored and stagnating out in this hurt or thinking about you know the past or what you had all that you had to walk away from because with the eight of cups this does represent moving away from things that we've had a lot invested in right and this is a, about not letting that get us down family your advice being to continue watering these good seeds so in short with this seven of pentacles it is about staying staying positive you got the seven of pentacles the eight of pentacles out here the eight plus the ace which is the nine of pentacles so you're building something here capricorn and this is about not losing your focus on that again with the train for confirmation and this is spirit letting us know that your hard work is coming to fruition none of it has been in vain and so continue moving forward at your own pace one foot in front of the other continue staying positive continue speaking claiming and affirming your affirmations and your dreams right and take this as an opportunity to let the universe truly renew you right this is like that phoenix rising from the ashes um this is a new adventure my capricorn's moving away from all that does not serve them anymore and again with this clean slate you're moving for oh my gosh look right under the fool y'all you're literally moving into the sunshine and so just like the seasons are changing i feel like 
the overall Capricorn energy is changing here as well, where you have been through the storm, you've made it, right? Don't let that keep you down in any way, you guys, even if you have to sort of emotionally disconnect, even if you have to sort of be be an a-hole and cut some people off like i know my capricorns you're nice people and you want to be liked and loved and appreciated but this is really about doing what's best for you and moving into this celebration right my capricorns probably seeing 11 11 this is spirit letting you know or 111 10 10 10 right this is these pillars that this is this doorway this sacred divine doorway that you are moving through which is representing this beautiful new chapter it's representing this sort of energetic portal that you're moving through um, to create right to move into this new journey to move into this new energy spirit saying that there is so much potential here right that you are switching timelines you are totally and what i mean when i say that you're switching timelines is that the decisions that you've made in the work that you've been doing Capricorn is really bringing you into a new life where things are not going to turn out the way that they would have had you stayed in these situations or had you stayed in this energy or stayed in this vibration you really pulled yourself out you realized that you do have the key to your success maybe some of you listening to audiobooks or lectures or reading books or like i said taking some type of classes or workshops and you're taking your power back is what this really feels like and under that we've got this meander card and this epiphany capricorn and this is spirit saying do not rush down the stream to get to the ocean right because you're going to get to the ocean and realize that you didn't get to enjoy any of the scenery moving through this stream so stay grounded go outside and take some deep breaths take a walk out in nature breathe in the scenery just look at it thank the divine for it right spirit wants you to know they got you they got your back. You are divinely protected right now. And you're moving into this abundance. And I feel like this was sort of the universe coming through and destroying anything that was in the way of your abundance. And yeah, see how that was flipped around like this? It was facing me. And so it's like anything that was putting your abundance in this blind spot. It's like you're focusing on this and your abundance abundance is sitting right here and so the universe kind of came through and was like Whoa, and shifted your focus to right here now you're looking at your abundance and so this is bringing neville goddard vibes or or law of attraction vibes where it's like our focus is on our goal now what do we want to create what are we trying to move towards whether it's a relationship whether it's a new business whether it's a new creative project etc no matter what it is let's focus on it Let's ground down into the here and now and put it together, family, right? Move toward that. Um, and if anybody wants to take a deeper dive, you can pop at me. My information is always down in the description box below. Shoot me a message on social media. Shoot me an email and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Book a personal session with me, you guys. As I stop shuffling, we have the sun. So literally here comes the sun family a beautiful beautiful new adventure this is huge for my capricorns and as pluto is this close to moving shifting into aquarius it will be out of our sign the sign of capricorn right so you guys it's been since like 07 08 that my capricorns have really been going through it and this is truly right on time aligning with the transits and the planets you guys it's aries season all of these planets in aries right now this is about initiating this new chapter this is about moving away from the old out with the old in with the new and moving towards our gifts moving toward this light you guys continuing to trust the universe you have made it through so much and now it's like you've learned what you've needed to learn you've embodied that and now it's time to move forward fam into this beautiful beautiful y'all are breaking free period my capricorns are breaking free out of the structures and confinements confines whatever that have been holding them back Right, You've been in situations, relationships, jobs that were not letting you grow to your full potential. I cannot talk today, y'all. Sheesh. 
and you are breaking free. It's like these situations could not contain your light anymore, Capricorn, and you are bursting through them. Your light was bursting out the seams of these structures, these relationships, these jobs, and now it's time. You're literally set free. You guys see them wild horses right there. You see the chariot. He has no, uh, the charioteer, he has no reins. He's letting spirit, he's letting Jesus take the wheel. He's letting spirit take the wheel, y'all. And look, it's paying off. What do we have? I'm putting the wrong cards everywhere and everything. Capricorn, this is, feels really exciting for you. There's this feeling of excitement coming through. I'm going to grab a couple cards from this Kali Oracle and from this Faceted Garden as well. I feel like they want one or two from here. Or three. Pay attention to your dreams, y'all. Okay, this is a very important energetic gate. This is a doorway to your future, you guys. It is crunch time is literally what I'm hearing. You are moving into this energy where you will be overflowing with abundance, overflowing with happiness. And so, again, pay attention to your dreams. You're probably getting messages as you sleep in dream time. This is also about paying attention to the downloads that you're getting through songs, through sounds, through conversations, through times on the clock, synchronicities, Capricorn, pay attention, stay in the here, in the now, okay, the universe is on your side right now, family, um, this herbal allies, you may even be seeing animals crossing your paths that are bringing you signs and synchronicities. You may even be communicating with the wilderness. Uh, you may be getting messages from trees or from plants. This is also about taking your vitamins, um, eating your veggies, right? And, and all of that good stuff, right? This really feels like the universe has your back right now. And this is a cultivation of all of your hard work, all of your hardships, all of your struggles, and all of your strength. So we're going to grab some messages from the Divine Mother, from this Kali Oracle. I have cards everywhere. I'm such a sloppy tarot reader, y'all. Um, Divine Mother, what do we have for my goat gang? A predestined series of events is due to occur according to divine timing this has been orchestrated at a higher level to integrate the paths of people with whom you have soul contracts in this lifetime trust in the doors that close just as much as in the doors that open for you as a result you guys so if anything's shaking up breaking apart ending the divine got your back do not stress do not worry stay focused okay you can trust in what is happening now will give way to a new expression when the time is right. That right time will be the best time when your readiness matches the requirements for success. Attend to your work with determination and hope in your heart. Trust that the divine is taking care of everything else. Your progress is spiritually protected, Capricorn. We've got two more. Shodashi cleanses the soul from past hurts. Um, her presence indicates a recovery and a reclaiming of dignity after experiences of being judged, betrayed, or criticized. If your innate being has been put down in any way, or if there's been bullying or nastiness directed towards you, Shodashi brings healing and renewal so you can rise above and lay claim to your innate beauty and worth you guys and we literally got the renewal card somewhere in this pile in this mess and we also have the last message for my goats is check your boundaries and affirm your right to both affirm your right to express and receive both kindness and respect Embrace your softer side and your ability to stand up for yourself. You are a unique being and you do not need to conform to stereotypes. As you relax into your authentic self, the best method to accomplish what is needed shall spontaneously arise from within. Go gang. Wow beautiful energy coming through that is what i have for you make sure you smash that thumbs up for me you guys make sure you drop me a comment below and let me know how this is resonating let me know how you're doing it truly helps the channel even if it's just an emoji or a what up let me know that you're there let me know that you enjoyed the reading um let me know how it's resonating for you we are going to take a deep cleansing breath 
and clear this space, you guys. We're going to breathe in prana, divine white or gold light. We're going to bring it into our heart chakra. Use your will. Use your imagination. We are going to pause at the top of the breath. We're going to watch that white or gold energy radiate out through our auric field. And as we release on the exhale, we're going to let it go like we are filling up a balloon. We're going to picture any doubt, any anxiety, any negativity, any lower vibrations anything like that we're going to picture it as black smoke or static or gray smoke or static or whatever comes most naturally to you and we are going to let the divine transmute it so let's get it fam hold it squeeze mulabanda watch your energy go brighter and brighter and release family it is winning season capricorn so with that being said i hope to see all of you winning i hope to see all of you getting it happy abundant and i hope to see all of you back on the next reading make sure you hit that bell icon when you subscribe uh, to the channel so you get notifications on all of the work we do a lot more than just tarot over here y'all we ascending for real um so with that being said i will catch y'all later Ugh. <laughs>